Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about uh, Supriya Life Sciences uh, IPO. Very interesting company, by the way. We'll just go through the uh, IPO details first, then financial performance of the company, and then about the company and the uh, segment in which the company is functioning. Here are the details of IPO in front of you. IPO open date 16 December, closing on 28 December. That is tomorrow. Basis of allot uh, basis of allotment date 23rd December. Initiation of refunds 24 December. Credit of uh, demat shares 27 December. Listing on uh, 28 December. So this is the timeline for IPO. Uh, then uh, let's go through some more details about the IPO. The face price of the uh, share and uh, Face price would be 2 rupees and uh, the lot is around uh, 54 shares. So you have to uh, bid in lots. Okay, that was about the basic IPO stuff. Now let's uh, get back to uh, get into the financials of the company. So here is one uh, picture in front of you, which uh, depicts the financials of the company in past, uh, financial performance of the company in past 2-3 years. Basically three years, three and a half years. September, uh, you know, half year of this financial year is also included. So as you can see, revenue is uh, growing very rapidly from 285 crores to 322 crore in financial year 20. And in financial year 21, the revenue was 396 crore. Against which the company made a profit of 324 crore approximately and in this half yearly FY22 half year revenue stands around uh, at 230 crore and profit is around 66 crore I would like to highlight that you will you can easily note that the profit margin of the company is very impressive and that's why again uh, the uh, the offer which company is uh, offering us is one of uh, you know one of the lucrative offers in a uh, recent past Okay, now let's get back to some more financials. Here is a picture in front of you This discusses the overall financial performance of the company Okay, we have discussed a lot of things uh, this uh, financial performance what I would like to highlight is the last para of the uh, you know this uh, picture this uh, FY21 valuation point of view on the basis of FY21 earnings the price earning ratio stands around 17.8 or let's say 18 so the issue is attractively priced so everyone knows that the issue is very attractively priced uh, and uh, we'll discuss about the company also but this, this is attractive and on this single parameter you can uh, apply for the issue very uh, appropriately priced i won't say it is completely undervalued but appropriately priced and as the base of the company is low aap dekh sakte ho revenue is around 320 uh, 400 crore in past uh, financial year this year might be around uh, 500 crore maybe so 460 500 crore ka revenue rena is not a big deal and against that the profit margin of 30 35 percent uh, is again impressive so 18 price running ratio is attractively priced so definitely you should uh, you can think of applying for the ipo and even after listing listing gains ko definitely hone ka chance bahut zyada hai that there is a high probability that you will get a good listing gains from Supriya Life Sciences IPO. Apart from that, the company has some fundamental strengths which makes it attractive from the long term point of view also. So let's go for the discussion regarding the company's fundamentals, uh, you know, fundamentals of the business. So, uh, okay, here is a picture which talks about the basic company. 
company's business. Supriya Life Sciences is one of the key Indian manufacturers and suppliers of active pharmaceutical ingredients with a focus on research and development. It had niche product offerings of 38 APIs focused on diverse therapeutic segments such as so and so, mostly anesthetic and so on. ये उनका technical details है. ये आगे का पारा भी important है. Largest exporter of some of the key chemicals, ketamine, hydrochloride and so on. You can make a note of this. A crucial report का इन्होंने reference लिया है. This this company is one of the key player in this some of the chemicals. Okay, and contributes around 45 to 50 percent, 60 to 65 percent of the total exports from India. So again, that is one of the important point. Its pharmaceutical business is organized into domestic and export market and. Company exported around uh, to 86 countries and around 1300 customers, including 346 distributors. So, this gives you, you know, some clue about how strong the company is in the export market. Okay. Now, what is API Active uh, Pharmaceutical Ingredient? What is this basically? Google Seven Research here. API is a part of any drug that produces intended effects. Some drugs such as combination of therapies have multiple active ingredients to treat different symptoms and act in different ways. Okay, for example, this is one more picture again from the Google page ki hai mene. As we know, there are multiple names of paracetamol. You know, paracetamol is an API, a basic molecule. And then we have number of you know tablets in the market which name after you know for example crocin. What is our key API is paracetamol, like that. Okay, insulin. So then this is the basically business of the company. जो therapy effect create करता है chemical API वो ये बनाते हैं. Okay. आ तो what are the specialities of the company? Here is one more picture आपके सामने. Company's core strength lies in identifying generic molecules of patent in its existing therapeutic segments which fits into its existing chemistry and production infrastructure and its ability to develop product and scale production according to uh, Anand Rati brokerage house. Okay. Supriya Life Sciences backward integration of API ensures steady supply of inter uh, midgets. The company has four manufacturing blocks which are segregated therapeutic segment wise. Supriya Life Science has delivered strong consistent financial growth since fiscal year 2019 and it has a proven track record of operations of 12 years and has a strong balance sheet as well as stable cash flow profile. Okay, so I think we have covered almost all the major parts. Okay. That was about the basic stuff regarding the company. Now, understanding. In past year, you must have heard that we import a lot of APIs from China. And we are grossly dependent on China for this API supplies. Surprisingly, this company is into, the, this company is into export market. This API is export. It is contradictory. We basically always heard that we import a lot of API supplies into India from China and other countries. In fact, this company exports from India to other countries. So, its point is that the quality aspect of the company and the functional aspect of the company is, uh, you know, uh, acknowledged by this fact that it is it has a strong export presence across many many countries, including the countries from Europe. And uh, issue is price around price to earning ratio of 18 which is one of the key uh, important uh, you know uh, element in this overall IPO discussion because what is happening today? IPO is highly priced for example I would like to point out that we had a discussion about Aptos Value Housing 
उसका जब आईपीओ आया था इट वॉज अराउंड प्राइस टू अर्निंग रेशियो इट वॉज ऑफर्ड एट अपर बैंक इट वॉज अराउंड सिक्सटी सिक्स तो आज भी वो आईपीओ ऐसा नहीं हो कंपनी इज नॉट अ गुड कंपनी फंडामेंटल इज अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग कंपनी बट इतना हायर वैल्यूएशन पे लिस्ट करने के बाद यू नो आपने थोड़ा डिस्काउंट देना चाहिए दैट देर रिमेन्स अ स्कोप टू यू नो फॉर द मार्केट टू डिटरमाइन द एक्चुअल अप्रिशिएशन तो इतना हाईली प्राइज होने के बाद एक्टर्स वैल्यू हाउसिंग इवन आफ्टर डूइंग हैविंग अ गुड बिजनेस इट इज इन दैट रेंज ओनली लिस्टिंग भी डिस्काउंट पे हुआ था दो पांच परसेंट और आज भी वो आईपीओ जो प्राइज है उसके अराउंड ही ट्रेड होते रहता है तो हाईली प्राइज आईपीओ अगेन दिस दिस आईपीओ इज इट्स अगेन अ वेरी गुड कंपनी और ये थोड़ा आईपीओ इन्होंने एकदम अप्रोप्रिएटली प्राइस किया दैट्स वाई देर इज अ गुड स्कोप फॉर अप्रिसिएशन लिस्टिंग गेंस तो डेफिनेटली रहेंगे ही रहेंगे बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट स्ट्रॉन्ग प्रमोटर स्ट्रॉन्ग प्रमोटर है एक्सपोर्ट मार्केट में एक्सपोर्ट मार्केट आई मीन एक्सपोर्ट करना आईपीआई का इन इट सेल्फ इज सम यू नो इट साउंड वेरी कॉन्ट्राडिक्टरी टू द एग्जिस्टिंग अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द मार्केट and also domestic api market is also very strong because we are you know trying to rely on our own supplies company ne kuch backward integration bhi kiya hai i read across the internet many reports usme i have heard i have come across that they have uh, a strong uh, backward integration in some areas which ensures that uh, the raw material supply is consistent for the company so that was about supriya life sciences one of the very strong companies in the recent uh, ipo market and appropriately priced company ka outlook <coughs> definitely long term hai but uh, listing gains bhi definitely rahenge as it is uh, very 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 appropriately priced and they have kept scope for uh, you know appreciation so listing gains to definitely rahenge aur base chota hai आईपीओ का जो आई मीन द रेवेन्यू बेस प्रॉफिट बेस इज लो सो ग्रोथ का भी प्रोस्पेक्ट कंपनी के बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग है सो डेफिनेटली यू कैन हैव अ लुक एट दिस कंपनी एंड डू योर ओन रिसर्च एंड थिंक अबाउट अप्लाइंग फॉर द आईपीओ थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो टू शेयर दिस वीडियो विथ यूर फ्रेंड रिलेटिव एंड लाइक माइंडेड पीपल सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल फॉर इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स फॉलोअर्स ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एंड ट्विटर थैंक यू